Hey guys, my name is Isma. So today, Default Cube just released a tutorial on how to create a rope using geometry nodes. And uh, in the spirit of Christmas, let's steal his idea and pretend it was ours. This time, we're going to be generating a chain, and I think chains look way more cooler than ropes. So, so this works in the same way his works. So you, uh, you just go in edit mode of any curve uh, that has the geometry nodes applied to this, and I use the draw draw tool and uh, draw, and then you're able to draw the chain simply like that. So you just draw anywhere and uh, the chain will just follow uh, like so. The first thing we're going to do is uh, create a plane uh, like this. I'll just clear the other location and uh, scale it on the x-axis a bit uh, like that because this is going to be the first link in the chain. And then go to edit mode, select all the vertices, use control shift B to bevel them so that uh, we have rounded corners like that. And uh, we can put this aside and uh, we can call this link. Uh, that's going to be the first link. And now we need a curve object. So I'm going to add a curve uh, like this. I'll I uh, put it in the center uh, by clearing its location and now I can create a new geometry nodes like that and now we have the setup. So the first thing I want to do is create the actual link. So we have the first link but uh, it's, it's still a mesh object and uh, we need to apply a curve profile to this within the geometry node. So I'm going to drag it into our link object into the scene here. Uh, so, so we have it like this and uh, if we preview it as geometry you can see it's just a simple mesh like that i want to first convert it into a curve so if you go to shift a mesh options you see you have a mesh to curve option and uh, if i do that you can see now it's uh, generated it's, it's, it has been converted into a curve we still have the original geometry we'll come back to that a bit later uh, so let's first continue with working on this and uh, make it an actual link uh, the first link in our chain now from this we can uh, add option to change uh, to do a curve to mesh and now this looks counterintuitive we have a mesh uh, that we convert to a curve and then a curve to mesh uh, the reason i'm doing it like this is because if i want to say for example uh, make change the shape a bit here you can see i can easily do it in edit mode here and uh, maybe this could be super useful if you are trying to make maybe i don't know can rub off this edge as well so we have something like that i don't know where this would be where you might uh, want to use this, but I just wanted to show off uh, that option. So you can see you can create a, a chain in that format, or we can go always go back to the original mesh here and uh, make a few tweaks, and uh, it will be it will update uh, the original the uh, the car, the chain itself. So now that we have that, uh, what we want is a profile to give this a thickness. Uh, we can do you can go under curve primitives and uh, add a circle and I uh, use this as the curve profile so if I bring this in you can see now our chain is complete uh, so I can reduce the scale here and uh, the great thing the other thing I could do is uh, because I want this to be opened up here because usually chains are broken up somewhere here I can go back to the original mesh here and just remove that edge and you can see I have the curve opened uh, there and I can also turn on fill curves a fill caps and uh, that will be fill on that side now this is too large and uh, because we want to instance it here uh, actually before we do that we can just bring our curve here and uh, what we can do is uh, instance these this chain here onto this curve here by uh, going to curves curve to points uh, like this and you can see we have uh, instanced points on curves and uh, these points are going to be where our curve our chain links are going to be instanced so at every point on this on this curve we're going to instance uh the chain we have just created here and uh, to do that we need an instance on point and uh, our instances are going to be this uh, this geometry here so we can bring that in and you can see we have our geometry and uh, we can scale it down we can scale down the the chain links like that and uh let me let me go to edit mode here and just draw another curve uh, that, that is a bit longer and uh, has more twists and maybe even just edit it so that uh, it moves up a bit now uh, the issue we're having here is that uh, we don't see the curve itself so what i'm going to do is add a uh, geometry join geometry here and uh, bring this original curve in so that uh, we can see the shape of the curve and you can see uh, that uh, how our curves uh, how our geometry is being distributed on this surface you can see uh, it's uh, based on the our instances are based on the number of count here so the more count we have the more geometry we have but uh, you see that uh, when you have a lot of geometry when you have a lot of count or instances and uh, the curve is not long uh, we get this kind of uh, 
they get too cluttered in one space and if you have too few and then there is a lot of space so instead of using count we can just use length and uh, that means uh, it will keep a, an even uh, the same distance between each uh, each, each uh, chain each link regardless of the length of uh, the curve so i'm just going to bring this down so that we have something like that now another thing you will note is that uh, the rotation doesn't really follow the curve so what we can do uh the curve to point node uh, you can see it has an rotation a rotation option here so i'm just going to drag that in there so that uh, we have something like that now the problem we are having is that uh, we have money to have these instances follow the rotation or yeah the normal direction ro the rotation of the curve but uh, we need this instance to be rotated so that uh, i will actually make uh, the link connected so to do that we're going to go under the curve and i uh, use uh, the transform option so geometry transform option so that we can rotate this uh, let's see what direction we want do we want yeah we want to rotate it 80 degrees here yeah, something like that so we have something like that and uh, then after that we need each chain every other chain to be rotated 90 degrees so we want this to say flat and then the next to be 90 degrees so we have something like that now to do that uh, there are a few ways to do it so in the in the after the after we create instances on point uh, we can go under instances are uh, this this node here just converts the points into instances so we have instances here so we can go under instances instances where is that instances and then use the the rotate instances so because these are now instances we can use the rotate instances here now if i rotate the instance here you can see all of them are being rotated and i want to rotate them 90 degrees are like that and uh, the issue is that when i do this is uh, rotating every other every, all of them at once uh, what i want is just to rotate one and then skip the other uh, rotate the the next and then skip the other just like that and uh, to do that we need to use a selection the selection option here so if we grab the index so each in each instance here is given an index from zero to whatever instances you have so the first one here is going to be index zero and then one two three four five up to the last uh, so we can grab an index index option and i think uh, we can see it somewhere here yeah i think it's uh, it's, it's this uh, line here so you can see we have actually it's this here yeah the index is not named here but i just think of it as here so these are our instances and they are 107 and 47 so we start from we're starting from zero one two and going up up to 147 147 but because we are counting instances uh, indexes are, are counted from zero that's why you see that uh, the last index is not 147 it's uh, 146 so now this index we can use it to make a selection of our rotation so you can see here this one the first instance here this in instance here has been rotated because it's the one that has been selected now if i add a math node here so vector uh, not vector utilities math node here and just do add and reduce this you can see that uh, i'm increasing the selection so as we increasing the selection that we are just selecting more instances and giving them the rotation of 90 so i can subtract i can uh, give this an addition or just use subtract and just let me move this up uh, sorry subtract just count up uh, you can see but uh you can see when we use subtract or add it's just everything before that number or that that index is uh, given the the rotation what we want is just to have an even selection uh yeah even number selection so uh, the first zero can be can have a rotation one no two because it's an even number uh, we can't we can give it a rotation and the best way to do that is by using uh, the modulus a function because that uh, that will divide uh, so let me just bring here just bring the modulus or modular i think it's this so divided by two so basically what it, this is doing uh, since we have a count of zero an index of one two three four five six is uh 
going in and uh, we are dividing it by two to get an even number. So if we divide zero by two, I think uh, that's indivisible, but uh, I think it will just assume to be even. Uh, so one will be, we'll, we will have a remainder here. So just think of the modulus here. If we divide it by two, we are just getting an even selection. So every other, we're just getting the even indices here. So, so zero, two, four, six, eight, and uh, four, so forth like that and that we now have our chain so that's it uh, let me clear this note you can see how our chain looks and uh, now i can draw come into edit mode of this chain and just draw uh, this is the uh, the node tool you can just use the curve tool draw and uh, everything will work i can even can even uh, write here so sub scribe yeah? subscribe like that if you want to reuse this we can uh, set up some uh, inputs here so for example uh, the input the first input I want to do is uh, be able to change uh, the radius of the chain so this is our radius of the chain so we can make the chain thick or thin so I can use that as an input. Uh, by the way, this uh, node setup is going to be available to my patrons. Uh, if you want to get it, I'll just go back here to uh, input. I'll call this uh, chain uh, thick length like that. And uh, what else do we want? We want to change, uh, we can change uh, the length between each, uh, between the links. So I'll just do distance, minimum, minimum uh, link distance. What else do we need? So you can also see, you can see in the modifiers, I will go we're going to have access to all of this uh, very easily like that. What else can we add in here? Yeah, I think mostly that's it. Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.